because I think that psychosis is such a misunderstood subject, I'm going to talk about my experience of psychosis that happened a couple days ago. Um, it's very interesting how psychosis works. Uh, it can be very horrifying because basically you spiral and you're not sure how to prevent yourself from spiraling. You just continue to spiral and it's really, really discouraging. I remember having the delusion that um, I was on coke, that somehow or another I had been slipped coke. Um, this was because my um, arm was my arm was tingling, and it was a very interesting sensation, and um, that was hard. Um, but I continued walking, and as I continued walking. It's, it felt like my body was breaking down. So it felt like my bones were breaking. It felt like my muscles were collapsing and my back hurt a lot. And all of this um, led to the delusion that I was basically dying, that I was at the end of my rope. I remember, I remember um, listening to the X-Files theme song uh, because it's Halloween and all. And, uh, but I was listening to um, the song and I remember feeling crushed and I remember thinking over and over again about how much I wanted it in my life, how suicidal I was. And so basically at the end of the song, um, I uh, basically did the, um, did a gesture of uh, shooting myself in the head. Um, and I did it because it's kind of hard to explain. It's more like a, a thing of mood and atmosphere. But the idea of walking behind an alley and walking further and further until eventually you disappear. And then when you disappear, you die. And that happening at the end of a song, it's just, like I said, all about mood and atmosphere. But there was more that happened. I remember talking to a checker and telling them how I hoped my credit card would slice off my dick about how I thought that Camus was right, that the only question worth asking is if we should live or die, and that I agree with people that say that we should commit suicide. I remember saying that I wish that the banana was a dagger so I could stab my heart. I'm not gonna go too much into the details of what uh, spiraled this uh, descent, uh, but I'll mention a few details at least, just to give some context and some grounding. Basically, I was told that People that overanalyze are serial killers or have the mind of a serial killer. And that hurt because I had just listened to a podcast on the philosophy of consciousness uh, about Emmanuel Levinas, Levinas. And I was thinking about the complexities in which he was dealing with, because he was dealing with a lot of complexities. And uh, I was using that for inspiration in my mind. And then I was told that uh, among other things um, and that really disturbed me, especially because of the, um, especially because of the stereotypes surrounding mental illness, um, and surrounding all of the things that people with mental illness experience, such as stigma about violence, that they're likely to commit a crime, that they're going to commit a crime, that they're basically just a ticking time bomb. Indeed, I was very, very delusional during all of this, and I've mentioned some instances of how I was delusional. I've also mentioned some instances of how I was also suicidal. Um, there's a lot more that could be said, but I'll leave it at this for now. I hope you enjoyed this talk and thank you.